This is Moonstalker at Death Place for Walkthroughs with my Ling of Dragon Age Origins. Wait, you should be dead. Dead? Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Weissopt. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? No, it is boring. You are unused to peace, but in time you will grow to love it. We need no longer fear the Darkspawn. Why? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us. Bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. That's not possible. You're hiding something from me. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? You offer complacency, not peace. It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Where did you come from? Are you a demon? Wait, I... I know you, don't I? You were the apprentice who left with the Grey Warden. Who would have thought you would end up here with me? Good job for getting out of that trap. Yes, what now? I don't know. This place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. It's not too late, I'm sure. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path but be unable to get to it, and it taunts you and drives you mad. I think I'll go take a look at this pestle. You, you think you'll find a way out, don't you? You believe that? <laughs> Maker. I believed it too. It seems like eons ago. I'll be back. Don't mind me then. You. Is this? Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door, a door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Fade shape shifting. Hmm.
Hello. Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? I became a mouse. Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? Yes, it was easy. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Maybe? Of course. Now these are burning creatures. Take Ragos' power. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards Sloth. 
He bars the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way. Thank you, Captain Kirk. to drive me mad.
like fire, huh? Good. That's some fire. Ah! Hello. Stub your toe. Codex update. The tranquil. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my. It is time for this dream to come to an end. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare! Hey. <sighs>
are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wait.
Quest update. Magic. Expert coercion. Head north first. One to strength. Okay, one of these rooms was a plus one to magic. This one. Nope, next one. you 
desire. Oops. Okay. First, toss a fireball their way. Hey, what's all the fuss?
another point of strength. Never useful for an arcane mage, but a bag. Ah. One of dexterity. Plus one to cunning. Best update.
There it is. Crushing prison.
Alrighty then. Last update. That should take care of all the. Well, no, I got one more. Okay. <sighs> Level up. Master coercion.
All right, check the map. <clears throat> this is a red herring. This is massive door and mousehole. Those are the two places where ability add-ons are found. There is the first one. Massive door. Plus one to strength. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Let's go back to Burning Man. I guess I didn't need to. Plus one to cunning. And that's the last ability perk you can earn here. Okay. Now we can buff up. Of course. Shouldn't have to give those up. Well, all right. Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. But they're not dead yet. The circle can still be saved. What about all this? How can you say that when you were faced with this? Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Alzheimer's. Can you not feel it? It's inside you. I can see it. I just don't believe it. Why was I spared? If not to help them, what use is my life? Now that I have failed in the task that was given me, leave me to my grief. I shall bury their bones, scatter their ashes to the four winds, and mourn their passing till I too am dead. You have to fight this feeling, whatever it is. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. You fall apart so easily. Just doesn't seem like you. You do not know me. You have no right to make such judgments. Can't you see this is the Fade? Aren't you a mage? The Fade? I have not considered that. I have always had an affinity for the Fade and... I would assume I would be able to recognize it. It is difficult to focus. It feels as though something is stopping me from concentrating. 
I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. That sounds like a good idea. Don't leave us, Wynn. We don't want to be alone. Holy Maker. Stay away, foul creature. Ah, you have to defeat them to leave. Stay, Win. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. No, no. He's got a point. No, not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not the one with a weak mind. Away. Away with you. I shall have no more of your pestering. I am your mother. Do you not love me? You are as much my mother as my little finger right here is the Queen of Ferelden. I know you, Fade Spirit. You cannot fool me. Are you more clever than your own dear mother? Surely such pride must be punished. Yeah, you show her. There! That is for not showing respect. That is far more like it, but it is too little too late, spirit. Tis you at last. Come and rid me of this vexatious spirit. I weary of being prodded. Why haven't you just killed it? All right, I'm coming. Good, kill it, and then we can be off. You could have done it as well. <laughs> Uh, let's just stab it. It's a fight. Tis about time. That was most. Wait. What is this? No, not this again. I refuse. Seems you don't. Blessed art thou who exist in the sight of the Maker. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. All right. Now's not really the time for prayer. I beg you, do not disturb the girl's meditations. Who are you? Really a mother? I do not know this person. Uh, don't know me? You crazy? I'm sorry, but I... I don't know what you're talking about. Please do not vex her. She needs quiet and solitude to calm her mind and heal her heart. Leliana, listen to me, please. This is not real. Isn't real? I don't understand. Cunning, don't you remember why you left the cloister? I remember. There was a sign. Leliana, we have discussed this sign of yours. The Maker does not care to interfere in the affairs of mortals. This vision was likely the work of demons. Yes, she would know about demons, being one herself. The Maker cares for us. I believe he misses his wayward children as much as we miss him. My vision may not be from him, but it guides me to do what is right. My revered mother knew this. I don't know who you are, but you are not her. She's a demon. In disguise, here to deceive you. Let us leave. My head has not yet cleared, but there is something familiar about you, and I believe I trust you. 
This is your home, your refuge. Do you truly wish to leave the comfort of this place behind? Stay and know peace. There is no need. I carry the peace of the Chantry in my heart. You are going nowhere, girl. I will not permit it. You cannot command her any longer, demon. She is free. No, she is ours. Now and forever. Just woken up from a terrible nightmare. I believe we had some task to accomplish. Let us be on our way. Wait, what's happening to me? And another one bites, and another one bites. Final battle in the fate. An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my, but you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. You tried to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us, don't you? <laughs> you made a dangerous enemy, demon, by toying with my mind. You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. I don't want anything you offer. I made you happy and safe. I gave you peace. I did my best for you, and you say you want to leave? Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. Sorry, but I'd rather just be rid of your evil right now. You wish to battle me? I don't stutter. So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. Right. Your daggers away, Liliana. You got a bow, use it.
defeated the demon. I never thought I... I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, uh, take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. Your body? I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you, it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. I don't have time to listen to you. Goodbye. It is time for us both to be on our way. Goodbye. Remember the litany of a drama. Bye-bye. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye, friend. Yes, yes. Off with you now. And so I shall. Okie dokie. Everybody get a copy. Everyone hang back. powerful with the staff.
So I shall. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Colin, don't you remember me? Only too well. Ugh, how far they must have delved into my thoughts. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions! If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game! 
He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here, I have a skin of... Don't touch me! Stay away! Sifting through my thoughts. Tempting me with the one thing I always wanted but could never have. Using my shame against me, my ill-advised infatuation with her. <laughs> Oof. A mage, of all things. I am so tired of these cruel jokes. These tricks, these... <laughs> uh, I don't think I should be hearing this. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. No trick of the mind. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. Why have you returned to the tower? How did you survive? Is it so surprising that I've returned? This was my home. As it was mine. And look what they've done to it. They deserve to die, altered most of all. They caged us like animals, looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and oh, there was nothing I could do. Aldred will pay for what he's done. And to think, I once thought we were too hard on you. We're not all evil, Colin. Only mages have that much power at their fingertips. Only mages are so susceptible to the infernal whisperings of the demons. This is a discussion for another time. Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred, where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Mega. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them. You don't know what they've become. I'm a mage too. But you haven't been up there. You haven't been under their influence. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. You have to end it now, before it's too late. I will not kill an innocent. Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. Must kill everyone up there. I would rather spare Maleficarum than risk harming an innocent. Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well of the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! I do not fear Maleficarum. They should fear me. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? Stay safe. It will be over soon. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. I shall do it.
remember you. Irving Star Pupil. Aldra didn't think much of you then, and I certainly don't see your appeal now. I am still a circle mage, and what you have done concerns me. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. You will soon follow your servants. Wait, wait, wait! Let's not be hasty. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation here. Demons and abominations have nothing to do with civilized. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Yes, yes. Thank you for your unneeded advice. Hmm. Get a big bear, Liliana. Love Alistair. What? 
I'm sorry. Why is it you always faint ignorance? I've seen you together. I'd have to be blind, deaf, and buried ten leagues underground not to notice. But you've said such things to me. Where there lies? Have you been playing with my feelings? No, of course not. What about Alistair then? What are you doing to him? He adores you. I should end it with Alistair before this goes too far. I... I am sorry I had to force this on you. I couldn't stand by any longer wondering if I meant anything to you. Oh, you mean everything to me. And I believe you when you say that. We should... talk later. I was trying to loot some bodies lately. Do you mind? I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynn? I wasn't alone. I had help. I was surprised to see you standing there. But I am glad you have returned. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. Very well. Lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh. Curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here. Not you. I believe order has been restored to the Circle. We will rebuild. The Circle will go on. And we will learn from this tragedy. And be strengthened by it. We have won back the Tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant. Lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. And what about Darkspawn? I require aid. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. I thought Templars were in charge of the Circle. The Templars guard and advise. But the first enchanter has the last word in what happens in the circle. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. So you could have saved Jowan. What a prick. Here we are, the tower in disarray. The circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. The Blight drove me here to seek aid. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. So I have your word. You have my word, as First Enchanter. The Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynne, we need you here. The Circle needs you. 
I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This woman is brave and good, and capable of great things. If she will accept my help, I will help her accomplish her goals. You can come if you really want to. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Can the Circle go to Redcliffe to save a possessed child? The child is possessed, but killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes, yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. I wish I could have gone with them, to fight. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? All right, let's try it. So the mages are all locked within. A fitting end for those who gave up their own freedom. We just saved them, Morgan. What's wrong with you? You I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. The Grey Warden sleep. Literal distraction. I hope you kill lots of dark spawn. <laughs> He's so cute.
I have been studying Mother's grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? What did you find? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Disappointed, then? No. There is much of interest within her writings, things I did not know. And one in particular I would never have suspected. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Ah, a spell of immortality. Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. So what do you intend to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Very well. I'll help you if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then. So I must remain at the camp. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Here, look at this. Do you know what this is? That's a rose. I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness. I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. That's a nice sentiment, Alistair. I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. Thank you, Alistair. That's a lovely thought. I'm glad you like it. I was just thinking, here I am doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. I feel the same way about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and you are doing so well. Who? Oh? You're lost then. All the ladies go on and on about how suave I am. I don't know how you can resist me like you do. Oh look, is that a cloud? I expect rain. <laughs> do you remember our discussion? Yes, of course. I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were right. I didn't want to admit it, even to myself, but those years in Lothering, I yearned for the freedom and the recklessness that I knew in Orlais. The Maker made the world beautiful, but he also made it dangerous. To really experience it, I have to embrace this, not, not hide away in some nunnery. 
You're not meant for a cloister. You never were. Sometimes it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. So, do I get a reward? Maybe. You'll just have to wait and see, won't you? <laughs> the stars are out. Ah, that's, uh, that's great. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light undimmed. There is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know it? Elindra and her soldier? I don't know many stories like that. Well, I will tell you this one. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all for she did not love them. One day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming, when her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, he was furious, for Elindra was high-born, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle and sent her soldier to the wars. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Alone in her tower, Elindra wept for her love and beseeched the gods to deliver her from this cruel world. So earnest was her plea that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. The gods also raised up the soul of Elindra's soldier love, and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The band of stars between them is a river of Elindra's tears, cried for her lost love. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. Hmm. The stars are not made of tears. It is just a story, but sometimes it's refreshing to set aside what makes sense. This story is one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring that it defies death and moves the gods to action. Sometimes I ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? Real love is a mix of lust and attachment. Nothing more. Is that all you think love is? And what about love of family, of a child? Is that just attachment? Hmm. Do you not believe Good in point. a pure, true love? Lust is perfectly fine on its own, I think. Well, yes, certainly, but to be with someone you truly love, to the exclusion of all others, there is nothing in the world like it. I pray that one day you will find someone who will restore your faith in love. The world gets lonely too quickly if there is no one to share it with. Hmm. Good point. Flowers? For me? <gasps> They're beautiful! So, do I get a kiss? Just a small one. Smell them. These were her favorite. I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. You're welcome. It has been some time since I left Lothering. When I stepped out of the cloister, I had no idea where my path would lead. I walked where the Maker led me, and he has rewarded me for my faith. I found you. This is about you and me. Let's not bring the Maker into it. 
<laughs> yes, talk of the maker is hardly romantic, is it? But now it's getting late. I think I might turn in early. I can't help thinking about how soft and warm my bedroll is. You don't want to talk to me anymore? No, <laughs> of course I do. You know I enjoy your company. But it's getting a little chilly, and I'd prefer to be in my bedroll. Well, I shan't keep you. You know, it would be nice if you came with me. What for? So I can show you my collection of pressed flowers. Obviously. I didn't know you collected pressed flowers. I don't. Stop pretending you don't know what I want. <laughs> Can't you be less cryptic for once? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? I don't think I could turn down such a proposition. Good. Now come with me before I lose my patience. <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well? I've been up for some time, but yes, I slept very well. I've just been watching you sleep. Did you know your eyelids flutter when you dream? And you have such pretty eyelashes. Hmm. It's not just my eyelashes that are pretty. So I hear. I'm so happy, blissful. I haven't slept so well since I was forced to flee from Orlais. Knowing you will be the first thing I see when I wake gives me no small amount of comfort. I feel safe in your arms. Safe, loved and accepted. This is where I belong. Thank you. You're welcome. I suppose I should get up. We have a long day ahead of us. Oh, I don't feel like getting up. Come on. Darkspawn await with bated breath for you to put them out of their misery. And ignore the beautiful woman in my bed. I think not. What are you... Oh, I see. Mm hmm. I suppose the darkspawn will just have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> hmm. As you desire. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Honora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sire. But Blight, or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn suit. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now! We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own! I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing.
Redcliffe Castle. Gets messed up pretty bad in Inquisition. begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Let's do this now. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. I assume you are going into the Fade. Or did you have someone else in mind? I will go. Good. Let us get the ritual underway, then. Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Do you know where you are? Of course I do. I am well, the castle is um, It's difficult to remember. Connor calls for me, and I run to find him, yet always he eludes me. Where is Isold? Why am I here? When Connor tried helping you, a demon possessed him. What? Possessed? Then we must help him! Is that why you're here? Persuade. Yes, I am here to help Connor. You must trust me. You? I do trust you. We must help my son. But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. I will. Never fear. Is anyone out there? Hello? <coughs> Hello? Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. No, I did not make your father sick. How do I know that? You could be a liar. You could be a demon. I am here to help your father. You must trust me. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. So I shall. You! You're the one making father sick! I'll help him! You can't stop me! Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? What is your purpose here? Is Connor truly amongst you? And if I work on him, what would you say to him? I take it that means you are not him. You will not find what you seek! Turn back! Now! 
Obviously, you fear I will indeed find what I seek. Trespasser! I will drive you out! Oh, I don't think so. No, not yet. Father Wonders seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Because you interfere, or you should not, demon. Connor invited her to come. And they struck a bargain. She has every right to do as she wishes. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. should converse instead. What manner of demon are you supposed to be? I am desire. Whatever you creatures of the living world want, I seek to provide. Lust, power, greed. These are my province. Perhaps there are things you wish for. Let us pause and speak of them. It costs nothing but a moment of your time. What could I possibly have to talk to you about? I possess the boy's soul. We could battle for it, or we could negotiate like civilized beings. If you are smart, you could even come out ahead. I am willing to talk. Ah, good. I prefer reasonable negotiation whenever possible. Your goal is for me to release the boy's soul. Is that right? Yes, that is right. What if you could persuade me to leave voluntarily? No fuss, no bloodshed. I would need some coaxing. To let you off the hook. So you will at least consider it? Let me make a proposition then. I abandon the boy. For now. But I retain the contract he and I made. And many years from now, I may return and claim what is mine. And this will be long after whatever you want is done. In exchange, I will provide something of value to you. Something you desire. What say you? What would you give me, exactly? I offer much. Power. Knowledge. Pleasure. What is it you desire?
intimidate. How about you leave, and I do not destroy you? I see. Though you are alone in my domain, I do not doubt your power. I am not one for taking risks. Have it your way. I relinquish my hold on the boy, if you allow me to leave unhindered. I can offer nothing better. Intimidate. On the contrary, I believe you can offer more. I see. Name your price, then. Keep it simple. Something to increase my talents. Very well. You force my hand, but you shall have it. You have your way, and the boy is free. We are done here. <laughs> So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he can be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. I have already found the urn of sacred ashes. You found the urn? Did you bring it with you? Well... Not the entire urn, just some ashes. But how can this be? How... where did you find it? Would you question a miracle, Tigan? What's important is that it is here. You are right, of course. I can ask later. For now, let us see if the relic's healing powers live up to its reputation. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. 
There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? If you'd like, I won't object. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. What are you proposing, then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. Loghain must capitulate in that case. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as King? But he's a Grey Warden. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. I say we proceed with your plan. Very well. I will send out the word. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Ah, good. The spell I wanted to get. I forgot to earlier. Two spells. I need force field. And now? The book I earned from the demon. Where is it? There it is. Tome of Ethereal Suggestion. It's in her mind. And now she can get force field. Splendid. That's a sustained ability.
There we go. Alrighty then. This is my Ling at Death Place for Walkthroughs with, I'm sorry, this is Moonstalker at Death Place for Walkthroughs with my Ling of Dragon Age Origins. Catch you on the flip side.